Kathleen, um, what would you tell Youngstown voters about the Community Bill of Rights? I tell Youngstown voters that the Community Bill of Rights is not only necessary, it's critical to say yes and to vote for the Community Bill of Rights. And the reason why I would say that is because I'm a retired Air Force nurse and I've served my country and I'm proud of that. But I want all to know that we nurses know that the current method of extracting natural gas and oil from the earth is unsafe. It would be nice if it was otherwise, but unfortunately, communities across our country are suffering. Children are suffering. Families are suffering, animals are suffering. There is so much discord with communities as a result of this industry coming into our neighborhoods, into our very fiber of our lives and causing cancers, causing respiratory problems, causing skin rashes, unknown reasons why people have bleeding under their skin as a result of their blood counts being low. And so the American Nurses Association in June of 2012, and they probably represent 3.5 million registered nurses across the country and about 150,000 nurses here in Ohio. The American Nurses Association adopted a resolution in June of 2012 asking for a nationwide moratorium on new drilling permits. Why? Because in the face of all the mounting evidence, we know that even the unborn child will suffer effects related to problems before they're born and be born with kinds of heart problems that are a result of the mother either breathing or else drinking tainted water from fracking. Whole communities are so affected by this and you know what? The absurdity of it is, it is a industry that's not going to last forever. Dr. Anthony Ingrafia told us at Youngstown State University just recently in um, March of 2014 that they know that the Marcellus Shale, which is in Pennsylvania, is about to be tapped out. In other words, that source of natural and the Utica, which is us in Ohio, will follow shortly thereafter. So, what will be left? How can we say that? Pipes. And I, I really don't want to take away business from the pipe fitters, but certainly I, it would seem to me that with current infrastructure breaking down across the country, there would be enough jobs to repair that. That alone, can you imagine sees that pipe that goes down a mile, mile and a half, and then goes directionally, horizontally, who sees and who can vouch for the integrity of that? Are we thinking? Are we so numbed that we are not thinking for ourselves? So we hope as nurses to represent and to be able to say, come on everyone, let us mobilize so we can use the sun, wind, water for our energy sources. We know that